advice. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, eMusic Entertainment, where we discuss the music business. In this video, we will discuss what happens when a fan lets you know that they heard your music being used by someone else. Well, first you ask them for the links and go and listen. And if the fan was correct, besides getting upset, you start thinking about money. And your next call will probably be to an attorney. When I get calls like this, and believe it or not, it happens more often than you think, the first question I ask is, did you copyright the song? They usually say yes, but I have learned to ask this follow-up question. Did you copyright it with the United States Copyright Office and receive a certificate in the mail with a registration number? They usually answer that they had registered their, their music with BMI thinking it provided sufficient protection. However, they definitely didn't register it with the U.S. Copyright Office. Well, let me tell you that registering with BMI is essential for collecting royalties, but it's not the same as copyright registration. Without copyright registration, your legal standing to enforce your rights in a court is significantly weakened. Stay tuned and I will give you some insights about what to do when someone uses your music without permission. I want to be helpful, so I also want to be able to send you a free PA royalty chart to help you navigate your path to success when creating music. This chart comes directly from my instruction manual called For the Record. To get this chart, Simply go to my website, www.emusicentertainment.net backslash royalty chart and fill in your email. It will be delivered directly to you. And if you find this information helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube page or Instagram at emusicent. Or you can consider downloading my ebook or audio book, which I just showed you for the record, to help you save time and money when navigating this business. Now back to what you need to do. So I then let them know that while they have co co copyright protection once they distribute their song to the public, they cannot go after anyone for copyright infringement unless they have a registered copyright with the US Copyright Office. I go on to explain that an expedited registration will cost $800 or they can do a routine registration, and as long as they do it correctly for the right copyright, as there are two copyrights in each song, they can expect to get the registration in approximately three to six months. If they have never done it, it they may benefit from having an attorney do it for them. In either case, you need to gather all the necessary information, submit the forms with the required fee, and wait for the registration. Once registered, you can begin a case for infringement. So the artist, while they are waiting, will gather evidence of the infringement. The attorney, with the registration in hand, will then be able to send a cease and desist letter to the infringing party. If you want to know more about the cease and desist letters, there will be a second video on that alone. It is at that point that the unauthorized party will either pull it down, they may talk settlement, or if they believe they did not infringe, tell you to take a hike or take it to court, which is a case-by-case -case analysis and really fact-driven. However, this illustrates the importance of understanding the difference between a performing rights organization like BMI and copyright registration also, the difference between the two copyrights, a PA copyright and a master copyright. It's crucial to take proactive steps to protect your creative work and enforce your rights when necessary. Remember, you're a creator and it's imperative that you understand the music business and have a team that can help you on your road to success. Don't overlook the importance of copyright registration it can make all the difference in protecting your intellectual property. If you want to know more about this, 
You can go to my website. I have a course about the performing arts copyright and the master copyright. And this is where all the royalties flow from. So it is paramount that you understand this so you can protect your intellectual property. Stay inspired and keep on creating great music. I'm signing out. This is Debbie Eagle.